friends welcome to machine tool design community again today in this video i'm going to cover a topic that is machinery required to set up a tool room see guys when i started my own industry uh, leaving a job uh, i was i came back and then i was not sure that what is the best setup for tool room so i visited some of my friends and colleagues who have set up a tool room and then i started uh, installing one one by one machine and completed my machine tool room setup so today i thought that this knowledge should be spread and people should have easy way to understand that what perfect things are required to set up a tool room so i'm just uh, trying to explain that setup in the different ways that is there are specialty in the tool room see if you are a tool room you cannot make every kind of tool rooms so you can make press dies or you can make specialization in jigs and fixtures or you can make some of the uh, specialization in molds that is casting molds plastic molds rubber molds uh, forging dies so you have to set up and target the customer in your way so if any customer like a press die customer comes to you so your tool room should be equipped to make press dies so let's have a look over that what kind of machines are required to set up a different type of press tools so i have uh, segregated this or classified this into three types that is jigs and fixtures press dies and molds so i will start with what kind of machinery you will be required the first i will go with a milling machine okay so milling machine is required for pre machining of the parts that is the plates to give the give the right angle to go do the pre machining or doing the slotting so this is required for all the three variances that is jigs and fixture press dies and molds so milling machine will be required for all these three setups now going to lathe lathe machine is where you will be doing some kind of cylindrical uh, turning cylindrical machining or to the job so you will be requiring this for making punches or some kind of locators of jigs and fixtures then you will be requiring for punches or any kind of round dies round things or uh, guide puller guide bushes then you will be require this for the molds that is you will be able to do uh, what any kind of core cavities which are round then radial drilling or drilling machine see uh, guys after every machine uh, i will there will be a picture coming so that you can understand what is the machine type so our, for radial drilling you will be required uh, for drilling or for clamping mechanism or for any kind of location uh, you will be requiring radial drilling or drill machine the difference between radial drilling and drill machine is a uh, drill drill machine is just a vertical machine where you just drill on vertical section and uh, whereas radial drilling machine can have multiple uh, it can move the spindle can move in multiple uh, dimensions so you can like if you have a plate like if you have a plate which is having four holes so with the help of uh, radial drilling you can machine it in one setup whereas in normal drilling vertical drilling machine you have to clamp the uh, workpiece drill it again declamp again move it on your location and then do it on another location so this uh, like radial drilling is advantageous for saving time and accuracy then jig boring okay jig boring is where you want to do the accurate boring accurate drilling right in like of uh, 30 microns 10 microns so jig boring is used when uh, if you say press dies if you want to do a if you want to fit a pillar and bush 
so you will be clamping the top plate and bottom plate and doing the jig boring so that you get uh, the accuracy in 10 to 20 microns so jig boring is also applicable where you have uh, where you where you need a fixture which has having a locator which is very accurate so you will be requiring this in all the three variant that is jig jigs and fixture pressurize and mold surface grinder surface grinder is like when after milling machining you uh, your you need a surface plate that is a very very high uh, quality surface plate that is like uh, so you will be requiring this in all the variant because you need to do the surface grinding for all the plates and everything because the accuracy is very important and surface finish is needed cylindrical grinding may be needed or not needed you can just outsource this sometimes because if the jobs are not more for cylindrical grinding in press tool and press dies so you can just sometimes uh, outsource it so i will not take this condition as a very like very high requirement for a tool room but still we can put it in, in the red for all the three now vmc is required for all the three because you need to mill the profile you need to mill, mill the profile of the part and uh, so you you will be requiring according to your design so this will be required for all the three places cnc turning uh, cnc turning i will say it is not so at most at requirement but still like it is an additional setup where you need a uh, very high punches and very very accurate punches so you will be requiring this for for mold types okay wire patidium wire patidium is essential for uh, where you need a uh, press tool press dies cannot be completed specifically uh, punching and uh, blanking dies require wire cut tedium where you cut the profile in very high accuracy so for press dies wire cut tedium is at most importance and sometimes you can say like you will be requiring for jigs and fixture where you will you require um, type where you requires very high accuracy so you can consider this jigs and fixture uh, as a wire cut tedium machine then next you have spark cut tedium machine spark cut tedium machine is where you need a very high profile you need to cut the profile which is not uh, through that is wire cut tedium the difference between spark tedium and wire cut tedium is wire cut tedium cuts where it where, the, where it is the through profile but when it is a blind profile that is uh, which is there in molds you will be requiring spark cut tedium so this is the basic machine setup you will be requiring to set up your tool room secondly apart from this you will be requiring very uh, different kind of clamps different kinds of uh, uh, tools that is um, you will be requiring for press dies or you, you will be requiring die grinder that for that that's uh, like attachments and everything i will cover a different uh, kind different kind of uh, video where you will be able to list down what kind of uh, uh, setups or attachments are required for tool room industry okay guys so you can you can have a look over at this chart and if you wish to go ahead for setting up your tool room or start your entrepreneur career in tool room industry so this is what you will be requiring so you can plan a funding or investment according to this setup where completing this setup you will be able to do like 85% or 90% of the industrial jobs in this also uh, like you will be having uh, like according to your setup a milling machine like it is it can take up to say 1 meter of plate so you can understand what is your capacity like you have a vmc machine whose bed is 1000 mm by 500 mm by 500 mm so you can tell your customer my capacity is like i can do 1 meter by 500 mm uh, press die or i can do the fixture of 1 meter so you can set your specialization according to your setup because so that you are not dependent on outsource 
outsource so much you can just complete your tool room in house okay guys so best of luck for your tool room entrepreneur career and i wish like if you have any uh, questions you can just drop me a comment in the section and i will try to reply or make a video on it if you like my videos you can subscribe to my videos and even press the bell icon so whenever i am releasing a new videos you will be notified automatically okay guys thank you have a lovely design career ahead